are getting pretty close to my 1,000 subscriber mark. Really excited about that. We are so gosh darn close, 9.99. I'm so excited to see this monumental milestone in my uh, YouTube career. Um, I know it's not a whole lot in the YouTube world, but I'm still excited. I'm happy about it. Good morning, everybody. We made it to a thousand subscribers, guys. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. Even though this is, uh, that's, that's not a whole lot of subscribers in the YouTube world. I get it. I get it. I get it. But for me, it's a big deal. It's a ginormous deal, ginormous goal that I hit after many years. I know I haven't been very uh, consistent, but after many years of uh, working this, I'm finally excited that I hit that thousand subscriber mark. Thank you, everybody. What is up, everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. I hit a thousand subscribers, guys. Finally, after years and years and years, I haven't been very consistent throughout the years, so I get it. But nonetheless, that's a monumental goal that I reached, guys. So thank you, everybody, so much for the love and support throughout the years. I know that there's a couple of you guys, well, not a couple of you guys, but a lot of you guys that have been here since day one ginormous shout out to those guys you guys know who you are and if you're new to my channel stay tuned i have a lot of things still coming down the pipeline i just i have to make time for those things to come fruition and um i'm gonna talk to a couple of traders interview them get their opinions their views and their tips greatest of all their tips they these uh traders are amazing day traders they do this for a living and I want to bring that information, those um, those tips, advice to all of my subscribers and viewers. I also want to show you the uh, signal that I got on Friday. It's a uh, trading signal that I got right at the end of the day. So I didn't get an opportunity to actually get in on that move. But either way, let me show you that signal. So guys, what we're looking at here is off to the left hand uh, charts. We're looking at the one hour charts of SPY and on the right hand chart, we're looking at the daily chart on SPY. Let's take a look at the daily chart first. You see here that back on February 5th, it switched over to um, bullish markets and we've only been trading to the upside calls um, for this move. We are trend traders here, guys. We are trend traders. We never go against the trend, although there might, might be some awesome trades to take to the um, reverse side, basically, to the pullbacks and whatnot. Um, we are just here to follow the trend. Um, you might find success trading the reversals and pullbacks and all of that jazz, but not here, guys. Now, let's take a look at the one-hour chart. <clears throat> you can see here on the same day on Friday, we got a green, or excuse me, red arrow that signified that this particular run was over with it's said and done and now we're waiting for a green arrow to the upside and we got it now usually i am the type of trader i'm, I'm still impatient still working on it you can see that in my videos i like to get in maybe half of my full position um, as soon as i know or have a good feeling or have uh, confidence that that signal is going to trade or stick and the other half as soon as it closes. And well, I wasn't watching the markets. I was busy at work. That's the downside of having a day job when trying to become a day trader or trading the markets. You get busy, you can't have your full attention to uh, the, the market. So anyways, um, we're, we'll see what happens on Tuesday uh, to see where the markets actually open. I am thinking about trading the 336 calls, possibly, Possibly the 30, 337 calls that expire in anywhere between 7 to 9 days, somewhere around there. We shall see what happens on Tuesday. Let's switch over to the queues. I'm not going to switch the uh, daily chart on the queues. Um, there's no point in it. Um, they're still in bullish ter territory. Same situation here. We got a red arrow signifying a um, that this trade here, that this uh, trend trade it was over and we can get a uh, a new new uh, trade here in the exact 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 same store so i don't know i don't know if i trade both of them at the exact same time we shall see 
there are less expiration dates on the queues. The further out, there's, um, you know, where SPY has Wednesday expirations and Fridays, uh, the queues don't have Wednesday expiration. So again, we'll see what happens on Tuesday morning. Let's see what happens on Tuesday morning because Monday, tomorrow, uh, the markets are closed, of course, so we won't be able to see what happens on Tuesday. I'll see about getting in. If it gets down below, it's going to be, gosh, it, it might be tough, but we'll see the, the markets have been on an, an enormous run, as everybody knows by now. And so I don't know, you know, how toppy it is. Sort of the feeling around uh, these types of moves is it's very toppy and it could go down at any minute, which is very true. But also the markets can keep going up higher, as high as they, they want. Sure, um, it's going to take some breathers here and there. Um, so overall, this is not necessarily an analysis or anything. This is just purely my opinion. It's been very healthy. It's going up and then trading a little bit sideways, consolidating essentially, and then moving higher. In some cases, it'll move a little bit lower before actually making a move higher. So um, stay tuned guys. Let's see what happens on Tuesday morning so I can get in on that trade. I definitely want to get in on that trade, the Qs and SPY. Maybe I trade both of them at the same time. I haven't done that yet with the mobile band uh, strategy. We'll see what happens. I love it. Also, for hitting a thousand subscribers, as I mentioned months and months and months ago, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to give you free the uh, strategy, the indicator that I was using before the mobile band strategy, which I think is still very useful and helpful for anybody that's looking to start trading, viewing the markets. Um, you can even get the code from there. If you go back to where I show you how to actually build a, a strategy on uh, ThinkScript, um, you can actually break down that strategy, use it for your own, build your own strategy. That's what it's about here, guys. I'm here to help you guys. I greatly appreciate the awesome support and love that I've received throughout the years. This isn't just a YouTube channel for trading. This is my life too. I get, uh, I give you a little bit of insight as to my life, uh, my son, and what's happening in my career, whether it be trading career or property management career, my day job. Um, I like to share that information. So stay tuned. 2020 is off to an amazing start. Uh, for trading guys, I've made great money. I've made great progress um, and I'm happy to share the that information and uh, those trades with you. I hope to inspire you guys. I hope to inspire you guys to become better day traders, better investors, better traders in general and make you think outside the box. Um, whether it be on a technical aspect, whether it be the emotional aspect of trading, I'm here to help you as always. Don't forget to drop a comment or a like, guys. We'll see you here on the next trading video. Hoping it's a green one, guys. Peace out.